Are you in the process of creating a logo design? Perhaps you just started your clothing line or started a company and now you're looking for something that's going to represent you, something that is iconic and something that will stand the test of time. Now if you're in the process of creating a logo, in this video I'm going to show you the important steps that it's going to take to create the best logo design. And this is all something that I've done over the past few years with my own brand and as well as many others. Now there's some very important key steps and tips that you could take in order to outsource to multiple graphic artists or even take this project out on your own. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys all of those processes to get the right one. What do all these logos have in common? Whether it's Nike, Apple, Samsung, Coca-Cola, Disney, Adidas, or Puma? Well, one of the things is that they spent countless hours in order to create and multi-millions and even billions of dollars in order to brand and put them into your mind. But did you know that most of these logos started off as just ideas? And for instance, Nike, it wasn't even a logo that they even loved to begin with. It was something that was created by a college student which they needed a logo because they were rebranding their entire company and they needed a logo in order to stamp on their new line of shoes. This was one of the designs that came to be and obviously it started off a little bit different than this and they weren't necessarily happy. The owners weren't sold on the idea themselves but they just needed to move with something. And that's the basis of this video that we're gonna show you guys how you can use different graphic artists, your own ideas in mind, in order to create an amazing logo that you can move forward with and stands the test of time. Today we have the internet and we have services online that you can connect with millions of graphic artists all over the world. So as long as you know what you need, you'll get what you want. Now look, in this video what I want to show you guys is the steps, but I also want to mention Design Crowd. Design Crowd is a service that connects you to hundreds of thousands of freelance designers all over the world. And with this, essentially as long as you know exactly what it is that you're looking for, hundreds of designers will submit a project in order to win your money and your bid. So essentially you're only putting out the project once and designers are submitting their project to kind of fit the best design that you have envisioned. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys what end results there was when we created a project so you could kind of see what quality and what kind of work and the workflow that goes into it. Awesome, but before I show you the end results, I'm gonna show you the process of everything that you're gonna to need to get this started. Now let's take a seat and discuss what you're gonna to need to prepare in order to create the best logo design. Now the first step in this process is gonna to be to know exactly what it is that your brand or your product or your business is really going to be called. Now this is essentially the name of the business and if you haven't already thought of something then start by creating a list of those and narrowing it down and more importantly are available out there on the internet. Get creative with it. What you're going to also want to do is figure out what the brand's mission and vision really is. This is going to be your guiding force of what your brand's going to be in the future and the logo should somewhat be able to fit alongside of that so it doesn't necessarily have to be completely replaced. If it gets a little bit outdated, it could just be enhanced. But figuring out your mission and vision is gonna be very important in order to create the best logo design. All right, and this is gonna guide you guys in the following steps. So take out a sheet of paper or open up a Word document and start to write down what best describes your brand and products. All right, so what does your brand really represent? Is it something in the leisure space, athletic space? Is it something that's fast moving, whether it's a Red Bull energy feel or is it innovative like Apple or Tesla? Really start to write down what describes your brand. So writing every single word that comes to mind when you think of your brand's name and you start to picture the future of it. From there, you're gonna go on and figure out what design elements are gonna fit and really embody your guys' logo. So what elements of design can you start to narrow down that really describe the vision and the mission of your brand or product? Whether they're nature and real objects such as trees, flowers, sunshine, or they're abstract elements such as love, peace, and whatever, whatever really comes to mind for you guys in this process, write that all down because that's going to be something that's going to combine with the first step and start to paint a clearer picture of what the future of your brand should mean and also represent through image. 
And the next step is going to be the aesthetic of it. Ideally, how would you like it to be? How simple or how intricate would you like this logo to be? Are you comfortable with something being very simple and something that's very eye-catching, whether it's a Nike type of logo? Or are you more comfortable with something like a Starbucks or something that has a lot of, a lot of pictographs and different elements involved that really paint that picture? Figure out the boundaries of where you want it to be. What's the least and what's the most crazy that you're comfortable with? That'll allow you to create kind of a boundaries in that design. Mix with the first two steps, you'll be a lot closer to getting the ideal logo that you're envisioning, but you're not fully able to grasp yet. Now the fourth step is gonna be the use. Where do you plant and where do you intend to use this logo? Is it gonna be solely on online on your website, maybe on some print marketing materials, but you're not gonna create physical products and put the logo in it? Or is it gonna be something that you wanna use on apparel, on woven hang tags, on embroidered designs? These are all gonna be important for you to figure out because depending on how intricate or what style of logo you create, you may not be able to use it on all applications. But ideally, figure out where you would wanna put this and that'll allow you to figure out what logo is gonna be best for your brand. Now ideally a logo you'd be able to use across all mediums, but sometimes depending on really what you want, it's gonna be a little difficult to get across. But don't let this bog you down, just make sure that you know where you want it to be used because as you're designing it, you'll know what limitations you have and what you need to move forward with in order to make it work across all mediums. All right, with these four steps in mind, you are now able to create your framework and start working with the graphic artist to outsource your project. And at this point in the video, if you are a graphic artist, this four steps will help kind of narrow down your idea and your creativity into a certain field. But if you're not a graphic artist, these four steps will help you guys really start to work with somebody that will help get you there. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed these steps so far. And now we're going to move into the process of actually sketching the design and getting it to a final product. And more importantly, what it will take for you to actually put all these crazy ideas into a presentation that a graphic artist will be able to see and start to fully understand your direction, which will help them create the image that you'd like instead of them trying to come up with what it is that you're thinking about. Um, because it takes a lot of time to go back and forth and the first iterations are not going to be as good as you'd like them to be. But if you're able to streamline the process and give them as much as you can up front, It'll definitely help you guys in your process. So for us, I knew what the brand represented, Revive, to live again. And I knew that there were certain symbolic aspects such as mountains, water, sun, energy, uh, life. All of those things is what I wanted to integrate into a logo as we were as we were rebranding the company and really creating the message moving forward. So for me, it all started with a simple sketch. And it started with a couple ugly sketches like this. Um, which, are, which is, as you can see, is not very good at all. It almost looks like a spider. This was something that that truly kind of painted the feeling that I had in a very uh, in a very abstract way. Who knows what this is? But it came to my mind. I wrote it down. From there, it started really, you know, breaking down into more of of a mountainous feel with EKG integrated into it. Maybe some sound waves. Those were all things that really moved me personally and I felt really moved the brand. So as you could see through the process, uh, this process took me months to create. And, uh, and through this process, I started narrowing down exactly what elements I really did like in it. So in this one, it's, I put it actually into a vector. I designed it with, my, with uh, an illustrator and I really loved how the ending really came to be. And from there, I started sketching a bunch of other stuff and uh, all these other stuff were kind of a play on that original idea and um, it got me a little bit closer to what i wanted or what i didn't like from there i took it to the computer and i really started to narrow it down and break down those things into certain elements so as you can see here i uh, i broke this all down into into different variations of it and a lot of it reminded me of reebok so i did not like that but i figured Hey, um, it's it's going somewhere. We don't know exactly where yet, but it's at least a, a start. And then from there, we realize, okay, well, if it's if it's looking too much like Reebok, or if people think it might look like Adidas, or it might look like X, Y, and Z brand, we don't want to take it in that direction. So we initially took all of these different drawings, and from there, we knew that we needed to bring it back to the original EKG inspiration with a mix of mountain, and we ended up getting something that looked similar, more like this. 
And of course this was very strong and it was very powerful, this one right up here. And uh, we love the variation, the different spike, but I still didn't feel like it was there. So if you guys want to see the finished product, it's available on the website at revivebrandco.com and on the Instagram as well. Um, and that's the one that we felt was a little bit more closer to what it is that we wanted to paint. Now, of course, we've, get, we've gone through different logos over the years, so you guys may also go through the same process. Just keep in mind that as long as your idea is somewhat sound, it could stand the test of time, but it could always evolve. So at this point, if you aren't a graphic artist and you haven't really thought about all these different design elements and ideas, and you really need a logo because you need to go to market with a product very soon, I'm gonna show you guys on my computer what it's gonna take for you to create a very good framework and, and very easy and simple framework that will get you the idea that you're gonna need. You'll be able to use the same format to really paint a clearer picture and know what direction you're taking. All right, so the four steps combined with possibly drawing it out yourself and creating a framework that I'm about to show you is what's, is what's gonna be ideal for you to get your logo design right very quickly and least expensively. All right, so as we know, logos can cost you thousands of dollars if there's somebody that's designing it for you because they're really spending a lot of hours trying to figure out what direction you're taking. All right, so by just doing the first couple steps here, you're gonna already knock down a lot of the workload for them and they're gonna be focused on designing what you're gonna need. So in order to create this presentation, we're gonna jump on over to the Google Drive, something that you guys can easily use and it converts PDFs from anywhere. So essentially, if you're working on your phone and you're inspired by something that you found online or that you saw in person, take a photo of it, screenshot it, save the link, throw it over to your presentation. The first slide that you're gonna to wanna to create is you're gonna to wanna to give them an about what your brand is about, all right? So this is taken from step one, figuring out what the mission, vision, and everything that your brand really represents is all gonna go onto this slide, all right? And if you have a website already up, you can attach the link onto there. For us, we had, um, we had a very amazing article written about us on Inc. Magazine. It really talked about what it is that our brand was about, what the future direction of it is, and I felt like it was something that if a graphic designer that really wanted the gig from Design Crowd would read that, fully understand it, and then take all the other information and create something amazing that would blow us away. And that was the case in this project as well. In your project scope, make it very clear what it is that you need, okay? Or else you're gonna get a bunch of stuff that you don't like. And if you don't know what you don't like yet, then that's okay. You can just narrow it down to say, I'm gonna need X, Y, Z, and there's no limitations on it because you don't know what you don't like yet. Uh, but once you do know what you don't like, then you can start putting limitations and it'll help get you there. From there, another slide that you're gonna to wanna to create is the brand details. All right, these are the brand colors that you're either gonna use. So if you're already in business and if you already like certain color palettes, the brand details is gonna be very important. All right, and there's actually a really cool website. It's called color.adobe.com. And from here, you guys can create different color palettes. You can create different color palettes that you like your brand to represent. And essentially, it would help people also, if, you're, if you want them to create a colored logo, they could follow these color guidelines and help integrate those colors into the design. All right, so we, we included a color guide for them in case they wanted to see it. We knew that that's something that we liked in case they wanted to add color, even though we did make it very clear that it needed to be in black and white. And then the next slides is you don't ever want to copy anybody's work and just make it a rip off product of what they created. But essentially in these next slides, what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to create certain visuals that you're like, I really like this about this brand. I like this about this brand. I like this about X, Y brand and you're gonna paint the picture of what it is that you do like because somewhere in this mix of art is gonna come something that is yours and, and it's not gonna be exactly theirs. It's gonna be something that's a mixture of everything and it's more than anything, it's an inspiration and a, and a direction that you feel is right. For us, I wanted something that was gonna be so, something that was amazing as a standalone uh, font design. So from here, I also really liked um, obviously I said, you know, this is a very safe direction you could play. It's something that's timeless. It's more of just a font based. Uh, we weren't sure if that was going to be something we liked, but we included it because we knew that, okay, this is a safe direction to play it. The next one is going to be something that's more bold. Looked around with different uh, fitness and apparel lines and we saw that they're, you know, very bold. It wasn't something I was super sold on, but nonetheless, once again, if you kind of like the direction, just throw it in there. 
Don't overwhelm with all kinds of craziness. Just give enough that will help them understand what it is that you're kind of looking for. Once again, you let them know, do not do exactly this is like how these look or else you're not going to get the gig, you know? So from here, I created a PDF. You can download it as a PDF. And then what you do is you go on to Design Crowd. Design Crowd is a great place for you to create all kinds of designs, whether it's a logo design, a web design, a t-shirt, flyer, business card, stationery, packaging design, or something else. Like they have the capabilities to connect you to hundreds of thousands of graphic artists. So as long as you know what you're looking for, they'll be able to create it for you. Uh, for us, we did a logo design because it essentially was gonna, it is gonna be a logo and it's gonna be something that we place on multiple materials, not just uh, t-shirt design. But if you're just going for a t-shirt design, perhaps you need uh, help with creating a bunch of different designs for the next line. If you select t-shirt design, you'll get more of those types of designs than, than you would a logo design. All right, so for the purpose of this video on how to make a logo, we're gonna select logo design, fill out the information, and once you complete the information, you're going to add anything that you'd like. And then you're going to upload your files. This is where you upload the files that you created, like the PDF that we just created. So once you create and pay for the project, it gets posted. And you have a couple days. And in those couple days, um, there's a bunch of logos coming in. For the design that we submitted, we had over 100 different logo designs submitted to us. What's really cool is that it's easy to communicate with the graphic artists there and you're able to really figure out uh, which ones have the most potential. The first few that came in, to be honest, weren't that great and I was actually kind of disappointed in it. I was like, wow, this is, this is kind of crappy. I would have thought that for paying 300 plus dollars that I would have gotten a lot better results at first. Uh, but what I noticed is that the first step where you upload your files, make sure you upload your files the first time. I actually didn't upload it until after I posted the project. So for me, I was kind of disappointed for the fact that I didn't add all the details in there and I got a bunch of designs that were just really crap, that were like really bad. So, uh, but then as, as the days went on and I uploaded the file and I told everybody, uh, you could put like an like a actual public message and it tells everybody, hey, make sure you're looking at the brief, at the attachments and all the details I included. Once I did that, I had all kinds of submissions that were like very promising. And I was just like, wow, these are really good. And there was one artist that came in towards the end that really blew, blew the entire design away. And we were just like, whoa, this is powerful. And once, once we saw that, we actually, you're actually able to take all the logos that you created so what you do is you actually go to your project and you actually create, you select all the designs and you can actually create a survey. And in that survey, it creates a page that's dedicated to you. And it's a page dedicated to all the designs that you are considering of actually choosing as a winning design. And what you do is you share that link with friends, potential customers or anybody in your group, and they'll be able to actually vote for the designs that they like the most. It's really cool, it's a very cool feature to be able to survey out the potential designs, knowing that you have winning designs before you even pay for the product. Awesome, so there you have it guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video and this video is going to help you really create the best logo design or the best apparel graphics or the best website design that you're gonna need for your brand and business moving forward. Now the resources at Design Crowd are amazing. They allow you to really connect with a lot of different designers and it's something you should definitely consider. And even if you don't use their service, the process that we laid out here is gonna help you really narrow in your direction and your ideas. And it's gonna help you either draw it yourself and design it yourself, or it's gonna help you work with somebody in your community that's gonna be able to design this logo for you. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below, hit the notification bell, leave a comment with any questions that you have about this video. I'll be more than willing to talk to you guys about it in the comment section. Also make sure to follow on Instagram and check out the website at johnxsantos.com. We have a very cool download, free download and PDF guides. There's a lot of different content that I give directly to your email inbox for free. So I appreciate everybody that subscribes to this channel, that shares this video. Please share it with somebody that you think will really enjoy it because they're in the process of creating a logo. Let them know that I got the resources and the content that they're gonna need to build their brand. All right, so I appreciate every single one of you guys and I hope to see you guys in the near future. But until then, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.